What's up guys, welcome back to Gamers Be Like, I'm Bond, and today we are doing Chapter 2 of The Journey Down. Um, if you haven't played Chapter 1, I'll throw a, uh, a card up above for um, for our walkthrough of that. Um, this walkthrough will cover all of the achievements or trophies, but it'll also help you just beat the game if you wanna, if you just want to get through it. Uh, unlike Chapter 1, there is no speedrun achievement, and there's only two miscellaneous achievements, or trophies. Um, so you only have to... you can take your time with it, and if you want to enjoy the story, you can. You're not going to have to do a second playthrough or anything, as long as you get those two missable ones, which are very easy. And I'll be taking you through how to do them. So, uh, we're going to start a new game. We'll start off with a cutscene, which you can press B to skip cutscenes, and you can press A to skip dialogue. Uh, much like episode 1 or chapter 1, make sure you can press A to skip, but if you press A too quick, you might end up selecting another dialogue option and get sucked into another load of dialogue that you don't need. Um, so there's your quick controls. So again, um, you can use the right trigger to speed up the cursor and the left trigger to slow it down if you're having trouble uh, precisely landing on something. So we'll start off on this boat, we, do, we just want to go down here, bottom right, straight away. Down here we'll find our brother Kito. There's some more dialogue to skip or listen to. Oh, there's me accidentally clicking on him. Right. So, when I grab this screwdriver from the toolbox, Duct tape hanging from the ceiling, or the floor, as soon as we're upside down. We're on the ceiling. And then use the screwdriver on the compass. Um, you use the uh, bumpers to cycle through the inventory. Like so. Or, if you want, you can drag and drop. With uh, the A or the X button, depending on your system. I'd recommend just using the bumpers though, R1, L1, RB, LB. Because you want to take the compass and give it to Joe over here, Go behind this rope. Some more dialogue to skip, and then the duct tape on these wires back here, in the middle. <laughs> Alright, now we'll head into the cabin. In here you want to push the button just on the right of Buana. This guy will give you some spiel about eels or something. Tell him you see him around. And just grab the spring from above him. Right, that's all we need here so we can head back out. Then we want to head up the steps in the back middle. And use a screwdriver on the porthole. I'm not sure why I didn't do it first time there. But. Then you want to use the spring on the key that's above this chest of drawers. Or this single drawer, I guess. And then use the key on the door. And then just open the drawer. And you'll get the book. You don't need to read it, you can just press B or uh, square to back out. Circle, I mean. Alright, and then give that book to Joe. And that will trigger the end of this section. You'll get uh, an intro or another cutscene. You also get an achievement or trophy out of the mist and into the embers. Alright, so after that cutscene, we'll be in a prison cell with Keto on the top bunk. So you want to skip through this dialogue. And then just click on Keto three times. He'll kick the bunk each time and eventually break it, setting yourself free and hanging Keto from his foot on the wall. So uh, grab the ball and chain that's right next to Keto. And then use that said ball and chain on the window on the left of the beds. And then click that ball and chain again three times. One, two, three. Alright, we got through the wall. So head through the wall. 
pineapple talk about whatever's around him and then click on this lever on the right side of the screen you need to do that now um, because you can't grab this hand until you've done that so come back into the cell and grab the skeleton you'll take its hand you can't grab that hand unless you've pulled that lever unfortunately otherwise we would have grabbed it before we left uh, so you put the hand on the lever Alright, so there's four buttons here. Three of them are fairly obvious. One, two, three, and then one is up on the wall here. So you want to hit the one on the wall first. Then you want to hit the one on the left, far left. Then you want to want, you're going to want to hit the one on the wall twice now. So one, two and then hit the button on the right of the three with the lights now you want to go back and hit the one on the wall another two times as you can see this one on the wall rotates that gear in the middle of the screen if you haven't noticed and then hit the one in the middle of the three down here then head back up the ramp and click on the cart to get a pickaxe Alright, with that you can head back into the cell where Keto's hanging and break him free. Use the axe on his chain. And then the axe on the grate just below your feet. Alright. Okay. Alright, that's that section done. Now we'll be in the city where we'll be spending most of the game, or the port. Uh, you can press B to skip this cutscene. So you'll wake up, or you'll come out in this back alley. You want to click on the dumpster to get a tin of salmon. Or a lobster, I mean. Now you want to go out of this alley, past this pigeon. And there'll be a, f a fairly lengthy, by this game, standard cutscene right here that you can't skip. You can skip all the dialogue though, so... There's a couple of speech options in here, but it doesn't matter because you have to pick something. So you can just keep skipping through it. And you'll eventually, uh, this lady in the window will leave. Again, there was the speech option. So she's leaving now. She's just left. You want to equip the pickaxe and use it on this newspaper rack that's behind Buana. He'll look around and make sure it's safe to do it. Alright, and then just click on the rack to get a newspaper. Alright, from here you want to go to the far left. And then out the, the there we go, out the back middle, between the hotel or next to the hotel, and then head into the alley that's uh, closest to you, just above where Juan is standing, and you'll meet these two guys in trench coats. So, no. we'll be seeing these guys a few times. Hey, <laughs> Looks like, yeah. You Skip that dialogue. Kid. These guys do have extra dialogue options that you probably don't want to waste your time with unless you're here for the story. In which case, feel free to talk to them and talk about stuff. Uh, click the nachos that are in the box just below Mo, and he'll let you have them because they're stale or banned or something. And put the newspaper in the barrel. And then use the matches on the barrel. They'll be very grateful for warming them up, so you can talk to them again. I don't think it matters which one you talk to, but I always talk to Mo. Thanks, kid. Uh, you'll also get an achievement trophy for that. Uh, ask them about the clothes. They will let you have clothes now because you lit that fire. So, Buana will go back there and get dressed. So 
So once Boana comes back out, we're gonna want to head out of this alleyway. And head on over to the lighthouse, which is in the back left, or top left of the screen in this area. <clears throat> Takes them a minute to walk over here, but all right. Once you're over here, you just want to head right inside. This guy will. Uh, it doesn't matter which you pick, but if you pick the bottom option, you get a few less dialogue lines. But you can still just hit X or him. He's happy to have visitors. So you can just look around. Uh, click on the bolt cutters to his left. Go ahead. He'll let you have him because he doesn't have a use for them apparently. Thanks, man. And then click on this model ship above the fireplace. He'll tell you a story about it. And then let you have it. So just skip through all the dialogue here. Alright. Now equip that tin can that we got and combine it with the teapot to get a cup of stew. And then we can leave. We want to head all the way back to the street where the cinema was in the hotel. So back through here. Again, takes one or a little minute to get through the transitions to the lighthouse. And then this bottom right exit here. All right. So once you're here, next to the cinema, you want to take the pickaxe and use it on this wire box just to the right of the steps. Alright, once you've done that, equip the bolt cutters and use them on the wires. You'll see the lights kind of go out. And then you want to head to the right. Uh, click on the phone booth. Once you're in here, you want to hit six, three, four, zero, zero, zero. This will call up that club. Okay, so there's two things you want to do here. It doesn't matter which order you do them in. Uh, one of them is a missable achievement or trophy, and the other one is part of the story. So, for the achievement or trophy, you want to pick Hello Pig Face. Hello Pig Face. You think? And then you'll get this little dialogue. You'll hang up, and you'll get your achievement or trophy. So then you want to dial that number again, six three four zero zero zero. Alright, and then you want to hit this is management speaking. Hi, uh, and uh Wana will claim he's a mechanic coming to fix the lights. He'll automatically come out of the phone booth. Head into this alley where you uh Right next to you where you first started. And then head into Arnie's bar. That's just nonsense, Joe. I don't drink to escape. I can skip all this dialogue. What's up, sailors? Hey, good to see you again. Uh I got uh, so there's dialogue options there that you can skip if you catch it. There we go. Click on this almanac below the beer sign. Hey, it's yeah, people. It's been hanging there. You can hang. Thanks. And then equip that can of stew that you made and give it to Gimbo. He's the one in the middle. Hey, look these what three people in orange you. coats. Oh, can I have it? It... And he oh. will give you this book. Okay, so now we can leave the bar and head back over to where we cut the wires. So out the bar, head up past the pigeon or through the archway, and then head left. Head up the steps towards the, uh, the dude in the background. And uh, tell him I'm here to repair the lamp. I'll tell you to get on with it. 
cut to black and you'll get a lantern Right, so now you want to head back to the lighthouse, so straight up through the middle and over to the lighthouse Once you're inside, you want to head up the stairs in the back or on the left, I suppose and equip that lantern and put it in the middle that will turn the light on or replace the light you'll get an achievement or trophy for that for let there be light and then give the book to Morton you'll also get another achievement or trophy for giving him the book and you'll get the, uh, the lighthouse back up and running again Alright, so coming up to the end of this little section, we were going to get another little cutscene that we've got to get through, but... So leave the lighthouse, you want to head back to the bar, where you got the book and gave uh, Gumbo his tin of stew. So head right, and then head to the bottom right, once Juana makes his way down the from the lighthouse. So head to the right over here, bottom right. And then right again. And then up next to the phone booth. From here you want to head into the bar on the right. And you can skip these guys' dialogue. Well, that Click on the food shaft, it's right behind beside uh, Buana's head. Buana, what you do? They'll ask you what you're doing, blah blah blah. Buana, yeah. Get in there and we'll get a cutscene which we can skip. There's a few of them, just keep hitting B. And again, you'll wake up by the dumpster, this time inside it. And you'll get an achievement or trophy for doing that. Alright, from here, head back into Arnie's bar. Well, look who's back. The night in You rest. I tried hard work. So you. I'm. I'm. That's no. It is a. What's his name? Count you. What? You Skip this guy's dialogue. Not I and pick up this bottle. We'll be needing that later. You can probably pick that up later. I just like to grab it now as we're passing through. Head up through this archway. And you get this lady in the window talking to you again. When she's done talking to you, head into the door, which is right next to the window. You'll see the light come on in it. Whoa. She'll talk about how she's the mayor's secretary, what she does, and how she wants to get out of this place. So what you want to do is give her the almanac that you picked up uh, not too long ago. She'll be amazed by the pictures. Alright, then click on this terminal that's right next to her. Go ahead. No. She'll let you use it. So what you want to put in here is expedition, which is E X P E D I T I O N. You'll find a file about a this missing and a policeman that classified it so you want to go find out what happened to him so we're going to leave the office for now and go back to the phone booth across the street all 
Right, and on here you want to dial 5, 1, 0, 8, 4, 2. You'll get a fairly lengthy conversation with the man's wife. You'll find out he's been missing for 10 years. Okay, from here you want to head to the left and back over to where the uh, the boat was earlier, just before the lighthouse. So up through the middle next to the hotel. And click on the back of this boat where there's a rubber boat. And pick it up. And now you can head back to the right. You want to head back to where the phone booth is. So right and then bottom right. Now you want to use that rubber boat on this car in the middle of the street, outside of Lonnie's. And then you head back into the mayor's office where uh, Lonnie, uh, not Lonnie, what's her name, Andy, is. Use the matches on the alarm above the terminal. You'll see the fire extinguisher get freed on the left. Let's get through this dialogue. And pick up the fire extinguisher. Alright, head back outside and use that fire extinguisher on the rubber boat to inflate it. Not sure if that would actually work, but there we go. And click on the car to get a wheel. Head on over to the left again. This time we're going to head left once we get here to the cinema. So, where the man in the purple suit is, we're going to head over to him. He'll give you a story the first time you get here. You want to try and catch the dialogue option so you can say, I'll see you later. Alright, I'll see you around. And then give him the wheel. That will fix his car. And it'll give you a free ride to the power plant we want to go to. And you'll also get an achievement or trophy for that. Alright, so once you're here, you want to equip the bolt cutters and use them on the gate in the back. And head on in. And then you want to click on this power box just to the left of Buana. And then you want to turn the knobs like so. So this one wants to go to 6 o'clock. The top left one, the top right one wants to go to 9 o'clock, the t bottom left one wants to go to 3 o'clock, and then this bottom right one wants to go to the one between 9 and 12, so 10 or 11. And then hit the button underneath the, uh, the valve thing, the dial gauge. That will get the power back up. Then you want to just hit the key box that's right next to you to get the keys, and head back outside for now. Equip those keys and use them on the truck. And then head back into the factory where you just were. And click on the control panel that's right in front of Buana. You'll get this cutscene which you uh, you can't skip but it's fairly funny because the car will knock over this fence. Okay, so we just smelted a, a car. Once you've done that, use the hand wheel next to the uh, the uh, tank that it just got put in, and it will make you a girder. So go back down again and click on the control panel. That will lift that girder out, and then head up these stairs on the far right of the screen, where it says exit.
You'll get some dialogue about him being scared of heights, which if you played chapter one you'll remember he is not a fan of heights, and a cutscene, which you can press B to skip or circle. Once you're in here you'll find uh Lena, I think her name is again. I told you have to you have to exercise all of her dialogue options, so you feel free to skip through it all as quick as you can. Okay, so the the second and last missable achievement is to click in this bookshelf on the left two times. You'll find two different books. And you'll get your achievement or trophy. Okay, so from here you have to open all twelve of these uh drawers. And the conversations will happen randomly, it seems. Depending on which ones you pick. I think it might be based on the amount that you've opened. But it doesn't matter, you have to open them all. So just work your way down the line. Here's a dialogue when you get it. This one, he'll, yeah, one of them that you open, he will uh, take a piece of paper over to her. Alright then, I accidentally open the same one again. Alright then, she'll, she'll find the switch to open them up. Open the uh, the safe up. It's He'll automatically use the pickaxe on it, and then you'll have to solve the code. So there's no numbers on them, but they're right. you know one, two, three across the top, four, five, six in the middle, seven, eight, nine on the bottom, just like a normal keypad. So the solution is four, five, seven, one, which would be middle left, middle, bottom left, top left. If you're not sure on those numbers. And you'll get a cutscene and you'll end up back in the street right, you which you'll recognize from earlier. Thanks for the ride, man. You're lucky. Plans? What plans? You skip through all this dialogue. Come on. There's actually a fair bit of dialogue here. They'll transition through a few screens on their own. She'll come back to the club, realize they've fenced it up. And then they'll head to the back of Arnie's bar, where she'll start working on trying to get the gate open while we go and try and solve whatever other problems we have. Um, so you want to give the nacho chips that you got way back at the beginning to this pigeon. Once he does that, he'll fly back up to that stick he's been on and knock it down because it's just been a plunger the whole time. So we want to take that plunger, head in to Arnie's bar, use the plunger on the drain on the bottom right of the screen. While the plunger's in there, use the empty bottle on it to fill it up and make sure you get the plunger back. Okay, so you want to head back out of Arnie's bar now. And head over to the lighthouse. So, up through the archway, left to the cinema, or the club. Uh, up past the hotel. And top left over to the lighthouse. Alright, once you get here, just head inside again. And use that bottle that you uh, filled up on the drain on the teapot. And that will fill it up. Yeah. Now, that's... So now you want to head back to the right. And get back over to where the boats were, where you picked up the rubber boat. And you want to head into that alley with the Mo and Vince next to their 
little barrel of fire. We need to talk to these guys to find out what they want before we can get the cigars, unfortunately, otherwise we would have grabbed them on the way through. So we'll skip to their dialogue, say I gotta go. Uh, you can go ahead and give them the, uh, the bottle that you filled up while you're here. And, but, now that we know what we need, the cigars. We need cigars and booze. But we were able to do the booze ahead of time. Cigars, we had to find out what we needed, so... Head back on over to the club, and then back over to the mayor's office. So the mayor's office is on the right. The cigars are right next to Buona on the counter. He'll ask if he can have a couple. She'll say she's not supposed to, but go ahead. And then you can head back out and go back to Mo and Vince and give them their cigars, so... Leave the building, head left. Up past the hotel. And right into the back alley. Or middle right. And give him the cigars. What? Well, fan, good job. How's it going? Doing. Uh, you don't need to talk to him, I accidentally clicked on him. Click on the crate next to Buana. And you'll get your dried up corn. And then we can go ahead and leave. We want to head back to the club. So, bottom right, once you get out of there. And then you want to head to the cinema, which is the left side of the screen once you're here. So equip the popcorn, uh, the corn, and put it in the popcorn machine. Sir, Mike, no. He'll be so grateful for finally bringing them some popcorn and give you two free tickets. Take those tickets, and then leave off the right side of the screen. So now we want to head back to Arnie's bar. So head right from here. and then up through the archway next to the phone booth. And then right in Danny's bar. Once you're in here, you want to give the sailor the two tickets. So hey, he's called Sad Sailor, so give him the two tickets. He'll talk about how he can finally ask Andy out on a date, and he'll give you his pawn tape. Because apparently that's a suitable reward, and you'll get an achievement or trophy for doing that. So you can go ahead and leave the bar now through the left. And now we need to clear out the train station so that we can get in there. So we're going to head on back over to the lighthouse. Which is uh, up past the hotel, etc. You should know where you're going at this point. Hopefully. And then into the lighthouse. And then we want to head upstairs for another puzzle type thing. I guess it's a puzzle. So you want to click on the radio. It's to the right of where Buana is standing, next to the lantern. Click the button that's lit up to uh, eject the record. Now you want to push this up button a whole bunch until you get to 99.4 although I can't see the point you just want to go to 9, 994 is what the numbers you want to see so 991, 992, 993, 994 then you want to hit the button in the middle of the 5 that will trigger a cutscene with the guards in the train station that will get them out because you've broadcast Alpha that squadron, moving record on their frequency. Right, and then you can leave. Head back down the steps. And leave the lighthouse.
So you want to head into the train station, which is the lit up area just left of where the back alley was. And then head up through the door that's above, uh, kind of on the left side of the screen. And then click on this junk pile that's on the far left of the screen. Hey, I'll give you an oil door. can. Alright, now you want to head back to the lighthouse, so back up and then back left. And then top left. And back inside, and then we want to head back upstairs where the where we did the radio frequency. Use the oil on the reel on the on the balcony type area, crow's nest. And then that model ship that we got quite a while ago now, put it on the pulley. Then turn the reel. He'll be distracted by the ship that he thinks real outside his window, as you'll see in a second. She when you head back dreamy. down, She's beautiful. Look at it with sky. which means Mustn't we can now fiddle with his doohickey, which is right next to the steps. So, for this puzzle, you want to have this arrow land somewhere around the second dot after east, so around there. And there's a slight delay on when you hit this lever before it actually does it, so I'd recommend hitting it just after it passes east. Maybe a little later. Basically you want to see that building above the train station light up. I think that might be good enough, but we'll we'll go again. So you can see you can redo it. So you do unfortunately have to wait for it to go around every time. That one might be a little late. Yeah, I think that one's a little late. It's hard to tell without going there and finding out if it's lit up or not. But I'll show you where to go afterwards. Alright, that's perfect. So, you can see that like crane is lit up now. So we can go ahead and leave. <clears throat> head on back to the right, you want to head back to the train station. So, you can see this crane up here is lit up. That's what we were trying to accomplish. Uh, you need to come and hit down at the edge of this railing to talk to Kito, unfortunately, before you can head up the elevator. Uh, just hit gotta go whenever you can catch the dialogue options, and then click on the elevator. So if you did that puzzle right with the uh, the light, he will get up here and do his thing. If you didn't, he'll get up here and say it's too dark. Alright, so he said alright little plane, so we got it right. So if you get that cutscene and he says I can't see a thing up here, you need to go back to the doohickey in the lighthouse and uh, rotate the light again, try and get it on the crane. But once you do that, you'll get a achievement on trophy. And then you want to head on over to Arnie's bar, but not go inside it. So to the right, right past the club. Through the archway next to the telephone. And then here you want to go through this new back right door, right of the entrance we've been using previously, the Arnie, Arnie's. This will take us to where Lena, I think. I've already forgotten her name. Lana, Lena. Nice. We can skip through all this dialogue. We're getting pretty close to the end of the game now. There. The elevator. Uh, I'll meet. Good. Oh. So yeah. once you've got up the elevator. You want to click on this door, and the combination is eight, five, one. Got it. Then you can head inside, and just equip that questionable tape that you were given earlier. What's it called? Video cassette, I guess. 
and put it inside the video storage right next to where Wana is. Now you can just skip through this. He'll automatically start pressing buttons on his own. And that guy will get glued to that, what do they call it, a romantic action movie or something. Alright, so once that's done you can head back out the, out the building, equip the plunger and use it on the window on the far left. And then head outside the window. Once you're here, click on each of these five bricks. And then here again, there's five sections to break. And then you can head inside and grab this book. Once you grab this book, you'll get uh, an alarm will go off and you'll get some more cutscenes that you can skip. And another achievement slash trophy for receiving the journal. You also get another one for finishing that cutscene. And you'll wake up on this beach. We're, on, we're really near the end now. We just have a couple more things we need to do. So click on the tent to get a machete. Ooh, I found a machete. And then head on over on the left to transition the screen. Uh, equip the machete and use it on where it says jungle, just behind Buana. And then click A on it to hack it away, or X. And then head up those steps. Okay, so for this puzzle, um, you want to hit the left pillar. There's four pillars here, you want to hit the left one twice. You want to leave the second one alone. The third one along you want to hit three times. And then this last one you just want to hit once. Wow. That will open the door. Once it's open, head on inside. Click the floor right in front of you. And now you want to click this one that says moon on it until that moon is over this lightning one. You want to hit the swirl one until it's over the tree one. Then you want to hit the star one so it's over the wave. So your solution should look like this. Once that's done, you can leave and press the button on the left side of the screen. And it will make a podium pedestal type thing raise up out of those buttons you were just pressing. Yeah. And you can click runes again and grab this idol. Alright, now we want to head back to that tent. So head back, head back through this door, head down. Head to the right. Equip the idol. Or and put it in this slot that's on the wall right here and that is the end of the game you got a cutscene and then your last achievement or trophy called Into the Mist so that should leave you with all 14 achievements or trophies for a thousand points there is unfortunately no platinum but uh, it's still, you know, pretty quick. You can do it in under an hour. So thanks again for watching, guys. Let me know if this guide helped you at all with trophies, achievements, or just beating the game. And um, I'll see you guys in another video.